Hello everybody, my name is Eric, welcome back. Somebody said that I talk too much, so let's just get right into it, be concise. This video is based on the same presentation that was given to us at the launch of the PowerSwap station third generation the other day. So, come here easy. Oh, he's over there making noise, okay. So I do recommend that you watch that one. If you haven't, you don't have to watch it first, but please watch it if you are interested in Neo Power. During the presentation, Neo explained some of their rationale about why they really believe in power swapping. Remember that Neo Power's top line goal is to provide users with an experience that is better than refueling an internal combustion engine car. They outlined four different scenarios that are better than refueling a car, and supercharging a car wasn't one of them. But power swap was one. Bye bye. Neo states that power swap in conjunction with supercharging is a superior way to refuel your electric car, not just your Neo, but any electric car anytime you're outside, you know, on the go. If we take a look at a Neo power up station, that is a station that is capable of both swapping and charging versus a station that is a supercharger station, of course, simply supercharging. While both of these spaces take up the same equal footprint, Neo claims that swapping is up to four times more efficient. So let's say that we have just one car supercharging and one car that is battery swapping. For each car to accept 80 kilowatt hours of energy, you can see that the Neo is four times more efficient at just five minutes versus 20 minutes for the car that is supercharging. Now I can already hear the arguments of people saying that, uh, for example, when they go out driving like their Tesla, they only top up for a short time, maybe enough to take a pee break or grab a drink. They wouldn't sit there and wait to charge up their car from you know zero to 100 percent. That doesn't make any sense. It's more efficient for a car to supercharge often, always be charging than it is to sit there and charge from zero to 100 or from 10 to 80. And on one hand, I can certainly see how that's a valid argument because most people aren't going to be charging their car like that. So it doesn't make sense to necessarily compare 80 kilowatt hours to 80 kilowatt hours. However, if you do start to take a look at that and say, OK, well, now you have to factor in actually driving to three or four different supercharger stations, they might not be so far out of the way, but it still does add up time, right? Just to get to the equal 80 kilowatt hours versus an 80 kilowatt hour battery swap. Now you're looking at, let's say the Neo is even more than four times more efficient. And then if we really want to look at it uh, a little bit more closely, a Neo could pull into a battery swap station with 1% state of charge. Let's say you have a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack and you go to your power swap station and they, in China, refill your, your full battery to about 93%. So that's 93 kilowatt hours, right? So now you're re in five minutes, you're recharging your car 93 kilowatt hours versus your charging time. Of, again, only 80 kilowatt hours if we're we're doing the same comparison at 20 minutes. And so it's even more than four times more efficient now. Um, so in my opinion, he was being a little bit conservative with what they're saying it's four times more efficient, but you know, let me know what you think. And then in the future, if you think about it, when Neo has 150 kilowatt hour packs out there, if you swap from 1% state of charge on that or 2% state of charge on that to a full 150 kilowatt hour pack, you know, 100, it's 93%, so it's 140 kilowatt hours, roughly. In five minutes, that's pretty incredible. It's much more than four times more efficient, at least from, from my understanding. Now, let's look at the maximum service capacity. Again, at 80 kilowatt hours charged per car, at a Neo swap station and charge station, taking up the equivalent of eight supercharger stalls, that station can provide service to 16 cars per hour versus just eight to 10 vehicles at a supercharger station. In dense urban environments, or just environments dense with electric vehicles, like here in China, the ability to increase the throughput while utilizing the smallest physical footprint is massively important and it's a huge advantage for energy providers. So Dr. Shen brought up another point during his presentation and I'd like to briefly touch on it, but let's be clear here, I'm not an energy expert. Presumably he is, that's why he's in that position. So I'm gonna take his word for it. He says that in many dense locations, there just isn't the energy capacity to support, let's say eight or 10 or 20 cars supercharging concurrently. The infrastructure just isn't there. The physical space may be there, but if multiple cars are charging simultaneously, each car's charging speed is, is gonna slow down. Let's say each car can only draw maybe 40 kilowatts or 60 kilowatts. This further reduces the maximum capacity that a charging station can accommodate. In my opinion, slow replenishment speeds at superchargers would certainly hurt Neo Power's top line goal of, of making recharging a better experience than refueling. To put in a power swap station in the exact same physical location, the location that doesn't have the energy capacity to support eight cars supercharging at once, you could still theoretically support a power swap station there that is fully utilized during hours of peak demand from users who are looking to recharge their car. Why is that? Well, this is due to the intelligent power management made possible with battery storage and swappable upgradable batteries, as well as the ability of the power swap station to interact with the grid. From frequency regulation, 
which means returning power to the grid when demand exceeds supply, to peak shaving, meaning recharging batteries off of peak hours, or recharging batteries using local clean energy whenever available, all of these ensure a better end user experience at a power swap station than simply solely supercharging. And that's why Neo believes in power swap stations' ability to make recharging better than refueling. In my opinion, these are also the reasons why pretty much every Neo user that I have met, that I've talked to, we almost all exclusively battery swap when given the choice versus supercharging. It's just better. But this doesn't mean that supercharging doesn't also have its place. And that's why Neo is introducing their new superchargers this year. So let's briefly take a look at them. Their 500 kilowatt superchargers are now rolling out in China and later this year in Europe. They have a 660 amp max current and 200 to 1000 volt wide voltage platform. They're ultra light and liquid cooled. And I can confirm that they are very, very light and very easy to handle. Much better than many of the heavy duty charging cables that we get out here in China usually. They also now include NFC payment ability, presumably mostly for Europe as well as plug and charge. And they also have integrated parking lot management. From what I understand, these 500 kilowatt superchargers will be rolled out globally along with the power swap station 3.0. Now remember that 80% of all power replenished by Neo chargers, that means destination chargers and superchargers in China is provided for non Neo electric vehicles and that they are the car brand with the most extensive charger network in China. So Neo power is a big deal for them. It's a big part of their business and Neo Power is much more than just power swap stations. So I hope that that helps you further understand why Neo believes in power swapping. You know, from my perspective, a lot of that stuff in the background, you know, that's the business stuff. That's that's the stuff that I never really paid too much attention to, to be honest. And you know, it's beyond my scope of knowledge or my expertise about how and why a power swap station can actually serve more customers, not just the speed of the swap, but actually, you know, the other factors involved that I covered. So I found that to actually be really interesting and helpful when he told me when, when Dr. Shin talked about that. You know, personally, I fully believe that there is a time and a place for different ways to replenish your car. In the States, I do kind of understand why a lot of people talk about like, oh, we don't really need power swap. We don't need battery swapping. You know, when I am at home and I'm driving my mom's Tesla, the car's always got a full battery because we charge it overnight in her garage. And I think a lot of people that can afford an EV in America, they also have a place to charge it at home, generally speaking. It's not always the case, of course, but when you when you have the ability to charge at home, it does somewhat kind of take away from the benefits of power swapping. Not entirely, because you know you still might make a road trip. And from my experience, I prefer power swapping versus charging. You know, I don't mind charging. It is, you know, it's a nice break. You can charge for 20 minutes, go to the bathroom, get some food. But at the same time, you know, just having like the ability to power swap and go from whatever your charge is to basically a full battery, like immediately, that's also a really, really big advantage. And personally in the States, if I had a car there, I would, I would want both. I would want both. You know, I like to make road trips. I like to drive far distances. And I do think there is a, a, a big advantage as a user of power swapping. I know other people don't agree with that and you know that's your prerogative. But yeah, as a user, that's how I feel. And then from the business side, now I, I further understand why Neo thinks it's important and why even with the same energy capacity in one location, you can provide much better service, much quicker service, higher maximum capacity for users in the same location. So obviously I think that's a, a really big important deal for for Neo or for any EV energy provider. So I guess that's that. Thank you for watching. Of course, leave a comment, whatever. See you later. Follow me, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care. Do whatever the heck you want. It doesn't matter to me. But uh, if you appreciate it, tell me. Thanks. All right. Bye.